All right, so I'm going to show you real quick how to um, put the window still on your image. So when you download it, you're going to have to extract the file, unzip it, and then you want to open where you saved it. I've already got mine over here. So I have last year's version, which is the brown, um, kind of front looking, and then this year is just the black window still. It's simple. So it is a PSD file because there are multiple layers to it. So you will see I have the layers here. Um, one says place your image. I have my image already open. This is my daughter Chloe from a couple of years ago. So I'm going to draw it over on top. Right now. I'm going, here we go. And it is on the layer above where it says to place your image and that is fine you are going to want to resize your image to fit the frame so we want to be able to see her and then um, it's literally that simple now if you want to do any kind of fine tuning you can. Um, the snow and stuff has kind of washed her out a little bit and you can um, click your soft brush. I have mine set to 40 and with a soft black you can kind of paint it off of your subject so it's not um, washing her out so much. Um, and then there is, you know, I'm going to come to filter, camera raw filter, and I'm just gonna Actually, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, Alt, E, Filter, and then Camera Raw Filter. I'm just going to draw my blacks down a little bit. I'm going to pull my shadows to the left a little. Um, I like the vibrance that she already has. I am going to pull the contrast up a little bit, pull the clarity up just a smidge, the texture. Now, this is stuff that you don't have to do. It's just what I like to do. Pull the dehaze up a little. Um, I'm going to pull it to the left make it a little more blue, and then I'm going to open, and you'll see what that did. And if it's too strong, you can always lower the opacity of the layer, and that's literally it. Um, as far as placing your image into um, the windowsill layers, that's it. And then all you have to do is you can save it as a PNG or as a JPEG, however you normally save it and you're ready to go and you can wrap those out for your mini sessions or your Christmas sessions, whatever you like to do. And that's it.